everyone welcome back to the 2018 granny square crochet along today we are making the waistcoat stitch also known as the knit stitch and um, it's actually the center single crochet as well um, I think basically it's when you have um, a, a lot of it done that it's known as the waistcoat or knit stitch um, of how it looks um, and when you're just doing the odd one or two stitches, it tends to be known more as the center single crochet. Um, it is National Knitting Day um, here in the UK. Um, I'm not sure if it is um, in other parts of the world, but it is National Knitting Day. Um, so I thought it would be fun to have a go at this um, knitting, um, knitting look stitch. Um, it does look a little bit like the stockingette stitch in knitting, if you are familiar with knitting. Um, and the, the benefit, though, of crochet is um, that in knitting, the um, stockingette stitch, uh, which is a smooth kind of fabric, um, it tends to really kind of roll up. Um, and the other thing is that in, in crochet, single crochet tends to, to curl up quite a bit too. But in doing the waistcoat or knit stitch, it doesn't curl. You can see this, okay, it's got a very slight curl, but mostly it's flat. So an added bonus of doing it, um, that stitch instead of regular single crochet or instead of knitting. So it is pretty much reversible. Oops, sorry, I'm trying out a new tripod um, and I just caught it. Um, so it is pretty much reversible. The only difference really is where I've carried some yarn on the back, um, but it is um, quite reversible. It makes quite a thick fabric too. So um, it could be quite useful for sort of hot pads and things too. Um, so um, this is what I've made. Um, I made this after filming most of the um, video. Um, so you will see me using um, a different color in the video. Um, but to start with, I'm going to show you how to do it on this chunkier green yarn so that you can um, see more easily what I'm doing. I'm going to show you how to do it and then I'm going to tell you how many chains and things you need for this particular square. Um, the only other thing to mention is that it is suggested that you go up a hook size. So we normally suggest a four and a half millimeter hook for um, with DK or light worsted weight yarn um, to make a six inch square um, and we try and stick to that as much as possible so that you're not having to chop and change between hooks or if you are fairly new to crochet or don't have many um, tools that you only need to have one hook um, if you do only have one hook and it's that four and a half millimeter don't panic don't think you have to rush out and buy another one or you can't do this square you totally can the only difference is that you will probably need to work slightly more loosely um, and when it comes to the border you may need to do your border um, in a half double crochet um, instead of a single crochet or you may need to do an extra round um, but if you do have a hook size one larger than normal um, like here I've got a five millimeter hook and that is what I'll be using for my um, DK yarn um, when I'm using this um, I think I'm using a six and a half millimeter hook um, to show you on that one um, it just makes your stitches a bit more looser and um, more easy to work into that's the only thing um, reason really for going up a hook size so if you're using your regular one just just work more loosely um, so that you can get into those stitches okay and that's about it so let's uh, grab a cup of tea or coffee and grab your yarn and let's have a look at how we're going to do this stitch okay so I have just done a chain of nine and a um, a row of single crochet working into the second chain so I now have eight single crochets and um, I'm going to show you now how we work this center single crochet or um, waistcoat knit stitch so I'm just going to call it the knit stitch today hopefully I'll stick to one name so turn my work over um, we will be chaining one before we start this row but I'm just I'm going to show you here so normally when we do our single crochets 
we work in each of these spaces here okay we work in between all of these little bumps here we work on either side don't we okay we go under these two bars here you can see that there camera do you think i think you can see those two bars there there we go so we work under there and do a single crochet and then we come to the next one and we work under those two bars and then we move along working under each of these two bars doing our single crochets okay so we just work along and we know that the last one as well we have this funny little bump here we just kind of wiggle our hook under those two bars at the end so that's what we do for our regular single crochet now okay so now for the knit stitch or center single crochet um, what we're going to do is we will be chaining one and turning um, but what we're going to do differently to the regular single crochet is if you look oops, and you see between each stitch focus there we go between each so these are our two stitches between each one you have this little sort of bump okay so this is the top of our stitch here but then we have this little bump that goes between two stitches okay so you've got your gap there and gap there and this little bar that goes across okay this little bar that goes across there and then coming down from there you have two sort of diagonal bars one here and one here making a kind of inverted v and they go up to this bar you can see where they join so just we have one there one there and our bar across and they join just here and this goes all the way through to the front like so okay all the way through so if i just pull this apart you can probably see my finger through just show you there's a gap there so In there. there we go so there is a gap there okay there is a gap in there and then if we look at this one we have a bar across and we have a diagonal and a diagonal focus okay so we have our two diagonals and then they all join here and it goes through to the front I don't think it's going to split enough for me to show you that it goes right through but you can see that my needle's going through oops <laughs> my needle's going through there there is a gap a definite gap there okay so what we're going to do is we're going to put our hook under this bar between these two um sticks okay so in this gap here so we have a bar across our two verticals kind of an inverted v and we're going to go in the middle of that v and put our hook in there and then we're going to make a single crochet as usual so not in these bars at the top like we normally would not in these but we're going to go underneath in between okay so in between each stitch so I'm just going to show you that pop my hook in here chain one to turn my work and then we're going to go to this very first one so skip this first um, bar of your single crochet and come down here in between under this bar here between these two um, sticks and put your hook in and go through you might need to give it a little bit of encouragement and then just do your single crochet as normal and then come across to the next one just here so you can see just there you can see a bit of a gap so pop your hook in there and do your single crochet just as normal come across to the next one and you can see just there where they join pop your hook in there between those two um between that inverted v oops what have i done there something a bit weird let's try that again okay in there. I'm just losing my loop, losing my marbles. <laughs> okay, 
So there we go. And then move across to the next one in between those two sticks under that bar and do your single crochet all the way along. And I'm just going to show you that last one because the last one can be a bit trickier. My yarn is getting a little fluffy because I've um, had to retake this a few times. It's getting a little fluffy. So, let's do that one. So, that's seven stitches. And now I need to do the last one. Now, the last one can sometimes be a bit tricky anyway with a single crochet because you'll have to go in and find those two bars for your last stitch. Well, we're going to use this side part here. Now, this um, piece across here is actually your chain but just ignore the fact that it's your chain and count that as your horizontal bar and then underneath you should be able to see we have two vertical pieces of yarn okay so we're going to count that as our inverted V and go right in the center of those underneath that inverted V and there we go and do our single crochet and that will count as your last stitch and there we go you can see all those V's going along okay so then all you do for the next row is chain one turn your work find this uh, your first single crochet is here and you want the next inverted V after that so just here and it will be hopefully a bit more visible on this row now. So you can see it there. And you just go into there and do your single crochet. And then work along in the next one all the way. Just as you did on the previous row. My yarn is splitting. It's had a bit too much use. Just do that stitch there and then go into the next one where those three bars all join together and the next and the more tightly you crochet the harder it will be to get into those spaces so this is why you need to just work a little bit more loosely than maybe you usually would they are not as easy to get into as a regular stitch would be so um, just work a little bit more loosely and using a larger hook will help for that as well because um, it will automatically be more um, loose and kind of gappy um, if you like so again at the end of your row just find these two bars and well these three bars and just work into there and do your last single crochet and there you go this is what it looks like is it knit or is it crochet <laughs> pretty much the same front and back and that's how you're going to work this stitch okay so I'm going to give you the details again at the end of the in a moment of how many chains and stitches you need to be doing with your regular yarn Okay, so with your regular DK light worsted um, weight yarn, um, normally we are using the four and a half millimeter hook. Um, that's what we suggest. Um, so for this one, if you're um, working up a size of hook, um, just move to a five millimeter hook. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use for this yarn, a five millimeter. Um, if you only have a four and a half millimeter hook or you don't have anything larger then I suggest that you stick to the stitch count we suggest in the pattern um, but that at the end when we do our border you may need to just um, do an extra border round or you might want to do a larger stitch on that border okay so um, yeah, if you've only got um, a four and a half millimeter hook as your largest hook, then um, you know don't panic about rushing out to buy another one. Just um, do more on your border should you need it. Okay. So um, with your hook, whichever size hook you're using, you want to chain twenty one, chain twenty one, 
Um, and then you are going to, um, sorry, chain 21. And then you're going to work into that second chain from your hook um, as you always will for a single crochet. Work into that second chain from the hook and do 20 single crochets along. So just as I showed you on this piece here, I chained nine and then I did eight stitches. So you want to chain 21 and then do 20 stitches down working into your second chain, okay? So you'll do your single crochet all along and then you will chain one at the end of every row. You will chain one and turn your work around and then you will work back along into those inverted Vs, okay? Now this is why I didn't show you on this yarn because if I come close to the camera there, and if it decides to focus or not. Okay, now those Vs are not as easy to see. Can you see them there? They are there, but not as easy to see on this um, thinner yarn. So that's why I decided to show you on this chunkier yarn, you can see it a lot more easily. Okay, so um, yeah, just work into each of those. And remember when you get to the end, you need to sort of work into the side part um, rather than just straight in the center. Okay, so um, you will continue working those 20 center stitches all the way along your row until you have done about 25 rows. Okay, if you don't want to count your rows, you could grab a piece of paper and a pen and just do a little mark for each row you've done. Or you could just continue working and grab a ruler and just measure it and see once it's almost six inches, um, once it's almost six inches tall, you can stop or measure your width. And um, some of you might have four inches, some might have five, some might have six. Um, measure your width. Um, after you've done about three rows, measure the width of your work and then um, work the height the same as your width, okay? And then you will have a square. So, um, yeah, so measure your width and then work to the same height as width and you will have a square. Um, and then it will be time to do the border. So I'm going to leave you to do that. Um, I hope this has been helpful showing you on this um, chunkier yarn. Um, just rewind the video if you're not sure about any of that. Um, so I'm going to work up on mine and I will come back to you once I've done my rows. So you might want to just stop the video because if you might want to stop the video, make a cup of tea or coffee, have something to work with and um, make your square and then I will see you to do the border. Okay, so when it comes and um, when you've finished your, um, your rows and you have your square, um, it will be time to make the border. Um, now, as I said to you at the beginning, I am I did make this after um, the main video. Um, I was having a bit of a pain day and wasn't able to um, continue crocheting. So I've kind of made this um, away from camera and um, here to just finish up with you. <laughs> um, so when you come to, when you finish your square, um, your rows, it's time to do the border. And what you'll do is um, in your top corner stitch, you will do three single crochets and then work along the side and do 20 single crochets along your side just working into the side of those stitches and then do three single crochet in the bottom stitch and then work one single crochet in each of those chains in the bottom part of those chains there and then three single crochet in the corner and then all the way up i'm um, doing 20 again three in the corner and then do your last 20 across the top here. Okay, and that's as simple as it is and then just fasten off um, into that first stitch. That is as simple as your border is, just three single crochets in each corner and um, 20 down each side and one in each of the top and bottom stitches. That is as simple as your border is and this is what you will have. A gorgeous, beautiful, reversible square. How lovely is that? So I hope you've enjoyed crocheting along um, with me today. 
hope you um, are loving your square. Um, you might have chosen to do it in lots of stripes or just in a couple of colours or all in one colour. Um, I can't wait to see your photos. Um, the link to the Facebook group is in that description below. Um, if you're not already um, a member of that group, do come over and join us and um, it would be great to see the squares you've made. Um, and it's great to get your comments and feedback um, from our videos. We love to hear from you. And um, we also love it if you click that like button and give us a thumbs up just to show us a bit of love and appreciation. Um, so don't forget that if you haven't already. Um, and um, until next time, just keep hooking and don't let your tea get cold.